just left but we got the drum set done it's like so it's like not as much dr drums it's slightly different right um i want to talk about why i did that like why did i switch up the drums in today's episode okay well the first thing is um it took up a lot of inputs here on the console uh we had 11, 11 mics on that kit, which is a lot. Um, and that's not including a talkback mic. So it's 11, 12 with a talkback mic, which is a lot. That's a lot of channels for, for drums, especially that, that kit had like stuff that didn't need to be mic'd in a what. Okay, anyways, um, right now we have nine with a talkback, so it's eight and a talkback, which is fine. Like I'm fine with that. I, I, I'm taking up less, less, l less room on here on the console. What's also nice is I like gotta get more mics because the ones that not, aren't there now I can use for other things and mic stands and stuff. So it was more to like it was more to relieve resources. Um, I I want to start doing like bigger productions here and, and bigger like things here in the studio in terms of audio and recording and mixing. Um, and in order to do and in order to do that, I needed to, to to use some resources somewhere else. So this was the st so this was the start of that, um, and and I, I I've noticed while owning and getting to work in my own recording studio, how much stuff you figure out in the long term can be kind of unnecessary. Um, I love playing that kit, I love playing it like it used to be, but this is uh, how I started playing drums, and it's kind of going back to back to my roots, back to basics. And, and, I, and I like that, I, I like to, you know, I like playing that big kit because it's like so many like flavors and colors, so to speak, like around while you play, but this doesn't have that, and it's nice to be a little more creative in that sense. Um, 
So, so that that's that's another reason why I wanted to switch the drum set up. Um, the only thing that I have an issue with. Look how bare it looks over there now. Like it looks like it looks like nothing over there. It's like, what the heck? Uh, but the other nice thing about the kit like this is, uh, the mics are like tighter and, and everything like, there's, everything's closer together in terms of miking, there's not like mics hanging and stuff and the cables are like n nice and neat now which, which I'm really big on. So let me actually walk you around the kit and show you the changes and why we made certain decisions. Okay, we're coming around the back here, I think it'd be easier. Like my, like that. Um, okay, we're gonna work our way this way. Okay, this here is my talkback mic. So, so literally, so literally this mic just goes into like the in-ears and the control room over there and doesn't get recorded. It's just for us to talk back and forth between a band member or the, who was ever mixing. Um, so it's easier to talk and it's easier to communicate. This here is the monitor in, so people plug their headphones in, and this is what we're mixing into, basically. It's just hanging there. Uh, really shitty, excuse me for the mic, the mics aren't great, but they do the job. Uh, this is a condenser mic for the, for the hi-hat. I wanted to capture the hi-hat it by itself, because, you know, rather, I don't know, I like close micing hi-hats like this. It's, to me, when I mix, it's useful. Uh, we got a crash with no mic. Notice there's no overhead anymore. That's the only overhead. Um, the reason is this is actually a pretty sensitive mic, so I can kind of capture it with these mics that I have here. So that's good. Uh, got my snare mic here. There it is, it's focused. Um, so we have one snare mic there. We also. We also have our bottom snare mic as well. Obviously, it's flipped out of phase. So uh, that's that's that. Got our tom mic here. Our other tom mic. I was really annoyed. This is not a great tom mic either, but whatever. I was really annoyed that they manufactured this. So the little button here is at the bottom. Make it at the top so it can. Ugh. All right, whatever. And then we have our little overhead mic here, kind of capturing this side. And this mic is kind of capturing this side, but you know, yeah. And then I have a, obviously a mic and a kick drum. And this is it, this is all it is now. Here's what I'm really happy with though. Look how neat our cable job is, finally. Finally, we even put the, put the snake down in that, so. I know, there's no strings on this. So, it's just a lot tighter and neater and kind of put together better. And I still gotta clean up from some of it. But, so, it's just to kind of make it look a little more professional and a little more like anybody could sit down and play the kit. Cause that was the issue I had with the drum kit is it was kind of made just for me to play. Uh, it was kind of hard to fit back there unless you were just me. Um, you didn't really know how to play the kid if, unless you were me, so I wanted to make it so anybody could come in here and sit down and, and play, and just play drums. Um, and as a disclaimer, yes, all my neighbors know I play drums, and if I play it, you know, I, I'd be courteous when I play my drums. But, uh, I'm, I gotta get used to it, but I think I'm liking it. Let me know what you guys think in the description below. Okay, I'm going to end this episode here on drums, because tomorrow, uh, hopefully back to the regular old vlog. I don't know what I have planned for tomorrow, but w as you know, we'll see. Alright, I'll see you tomorrow. Slam dunk, are you ready?